Eating seasonally is something not many people are used to anymore. But buying vegetables when they are in season or growing some in your garden is one great way of putting a healthy, frugal meal on the table. What this means though in practice is that we will eat the same vegetables a few times a week when they are in season and not so much after they are not in season anymore. To not get bored with our food, we have to get creative. Although, let's be honest, I could eat a fresh tomato salad every day of summer and not get bored. But that might just be me, so I hope this video can give you some inspiration of what to do with the vegetables from your garden or those bought fresh from the store. I'd be like a best bro. Well. One of our new favorites is a French dessert called clafouti. Yes, I'm starting this video with a dessert. <laughs> it's a great way to use up eggs and fresh soft fruits. Here I'm making it with berries, but I've also made it with peaches, which was amazing as well. It's very simple to make and comes out creamy and delicious. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new cake recipe. If you'd like to recreate some of these things, I will link the recipes that I've, I've used or write them down in the description box down below.
I would also like to take a moment to say thank you to those of you who support us on Patreon. One of our patrons mentioned making lots of clafu tea, which I had never made before. Now that I know this recipe, it has become one of our favorites very quickly. All that is to say, thank you for being such a stable support in our video making efforts. And if you would like to support us on Patreon, you can find a link in the description box mm -hmm. down below. Maar is buiten. One way of dealing with all the tomatoes this month was obviously quiche. A fresh sliced up cherry tomatoes combined with some onion, herbs and goat's cheese made for an easy to assemble lunch this day.
after. Wow. Gosh. Oh, hi, Tess. At the beginning of July, we harvested the potatoes from our main patch. The plants had died back and we started to see signs of wild boar visits. So divided over two mornings, because we had to do it all by hand, we were able to dig up about 40 kilos of potatoes. This was about triple the amount of what we put in and considering the fact that we did not fertilize this space, we were pretty happy with this harvest. Over the fall we will sow a cover crop here and fence the area properly so we can grow more here in the future. Heb je een sinaasappel? Lekker! Ik denk dat we er wel twee kistjes van kunnen maken. Ik wil een kistje. Ja. Ja, er zit nu 50 gram op, maar dat is, dat is verwaarloosbaar. Oké. Okay. Nou, is het te zwaar? Hm. Deze is de puk, puk! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, 19 kilo. One way of eating all those potatoes we harvested is to simply bake them in the oven with lots of eggs. In my experience though, it's necessary to pre-cook them as the eggs only need about half an hour in the oven. Mm. Ja, 
I'm sure you know this already, but hands down the quickest bang for your work or your buck are herbs. And this year I made an effort to plant enough in the garden so that we can eat fresh herbs all summer. My favorites, as you might have noticed, are parsley and basil. Next to the fact that our family does not like the fave flavor, I prefer growing parsley over coriander because it does not bolt as easily. Parsley is a great pick and come again herb that will add flavor to your food all summer and also into winter. In July we had an abundance of fresh beefsteak tomatoes, most of which I served as a tomato salad with chopped her herbs, salt, pepper and olive oil. To me, this is the taste of summer. So simple, but so, so delicious. And I had a few tomato salad. Wow! Do we have some? Wow!
This month was a great reminder that we don't have to grow all our own food. We are blessed with friends who bought a fruit farm last year and they were more than happy to share in their abundance. We got those berries that you saw at the beginning of this video and a few weeks later we got a lovely delivery of peaches and pears. Too many, even for the kids to eat fresh. So I decided to have another go at preserving them in the form of a chutney. It was a bit of work, obviously more than I had anticipated, but it turned out great and I can't wait to use this over the winter. Louis thinks that he's just stopped. Heeft. I'm just gonna hide underneath here. No one will tell them I'm here.
Kapot maken. Stampen noemen we dit in het Nederlands. En dit is leuk. Kapot maken. Mm -hmm. Dan maak je het kapot, maar het heet stampen. Zo. Ja. The final meal I want to share with you is what summer is all about in my opinion. Bread and an assortment of dips. <laughs> A summer staple in my kitchen is a roasted aubergine dip that is great either hot or cold with bread or I also serve it over rice. This day I also made some fresh hummus, a tomato salad and served it with that peach chutney and some soft cheese. Sometimes I'll make flatbreads with this but bread from the shop is always appreciated. In the next video I'll share my flatbread recipe and some more dips that I like to make. So don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss when that video comes out sometime later this month.
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Meat. Please know that I do not cook for my family like this every day. Many days I simply do not have the energy and we will eat whatever I do have the energy to prepare. This can be as simple as some pasta or sandwiches with fresh veggies on the side. I am very thankful for my past self to for planting all this food, but I try to not beat myself up for not being able to keep my plants in tip-top condition. We still get to eat fresh from the garden every day and that is what is important to me. But there is no moral value to eating one thing over the other and there is no great battle between good and evil when it comes to food. At the end of the day, we are all just trying our best to feed our family according to our own ability.